you're sitting there at work trying to get things done and there's a knock at the door. It's the sheriff and they're here to serve you with a protective order. What do you do now? Look, the reality is that not everybody who is accused of domestic violence actually committed domestic violence. Unfortunately, the domestic violence system is sometimes used for other purposes. So if you're that person and you've been handed those papers, now what? Hi, my name is Christy Zlakis and I'm a family law attorney here in Rockville, Maryland. And today I'm gonna to talk to you about what to do if you are accused of committing domestic violence. Being served with a protective order is one of the most scary things that can happen to you as an individual. That piece of paper that someone handed you, it kicks you out of your house. You can't go back to get your clothes or your electronics. It requires you to have no contact with someone who you might still love. If you have children, you might not be able to have contact with those children for a while. Not to mention the humiliation of being served often at work because it's somewhere where the sheriffs know they can find you or the embarrassment of having the protective order on case search or even the implications to your job or your future job prospects. This is a serious matter and you need to take it seriously. Step one, read the order and follow it. Do not violate a protective order. It might be unfair. The accusations might be untrue, but if your first action is to call up the person who the order protects or go to the home where you're ordered to stay away from or the children's school if you're ordered to stay away from there, that's not going to help you show a court that you are no danger to this person. So step one, follow the order. Step two, it's time to seek legal counsel. I know, I know. I'm an attorney and I want business. So of course I'm telling you, you need a lawyer. But there are times where you just don't want to mess around. Having a protective order against you and on your record could potentially prevent you from volunteering in your children's school in the future. It could mean a year where a certain custody schedule is set up if you have children, or a year where you can't go to your home, or that you're ordered to pay something called emergency family maintenance. You have to, if you own guns, give them all up for a year to the sheriff's department. And again, it's on your record. People see this. So hire a lawyer, make sure they know how to handle domestic violence cases. The good news for society as a whole is that there are a lot of resources out there for domestic violence victims, including free or low cost legal representation. The bad news for those falsely accused of domestic violence, those same resources don't exist. If you have been falsely accused of domestic violence, you need an attorney who knows what they're doing in the courtroom, who knows the domestic violence statute inside and out and can help guide you through this fast paced, scary process. At Z Family Law, we have three litigators who know this code, who know how to help our clients and who have walked with both men and women down this path. So if this is you, if you've been falsely accused, call us today because time is of the essence.